Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.0 vMotion product demonstration. This is the last video in the series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to vMotion across vCenter instances that span geographical distances. Let's take a scenario where we need to decommission a data center in Palo Alto, California, and migrate all of its services to a data center in Austin, Texas. In the Palo Alto location, there are two vSphere clusters, and we have set up an identical setup in Austin. Because we will not change the IP address during this migration, a Layer 2 network connection for the virtual machine network will need to span across these two sites. We start the demo at the vSphere web client home screen. Here, we have two vCenter instances with two clusters each. One vCenter is located in Palo Alto, California, and the other is in Austin, Texas. On each vCenter instance, we have a separate distributed virtual switch. We will now migrate the VMs from the Palo Alto vCenter instance to the Austin vCenter instance without affecting the services running on the VMs. We also have the ability to change the virtual switch and assign a port group during the vMotion process. Due to the geographic span, these hosts will not share storage, so the virtual disks will be moved. When shared storage is not used, an enhanced vMotion will be performed. This is also known as XVMotion, or VMotion without shared storage. First, let's check the latency between the sites to ensure it is within the supported threshold. From the source site, ping a vSphere host on the destination site in Austin. The maximum supported RTT is 150 milliseconds. Notice that it falls under the acceptable threshold. From the device in Palo Alto, ping a VM managed by the Palo Alto vCenter instance. The latency should be very low, as all traffic is within the local area network. Here, we ping the Linux VM in Palo Alto. To perform a long-distance vMotion using the vSphere web client, we right-click on the VM we wish to migrate and select Migrate from the context menu. On the next screen, select Change both compute resource and storage. We will go with a default selection for Select Compute Resource first and click Next. Then choose a compute resource to run the migrated virtual machines and click Next. On the storage page, select the destination storage for the VM. We select the vSAN volume and click Next. On the destination folder page, select the destination folder you would want the VM to migrate to and click Next. Next, choose the destination network for the VM and click Next. Select Schedule vMotion with high priority, and then click Next. At the Summary screen, review the information and click Finish. You can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks column. Refresh the page to update the view and see that the vMotion process is complete. When the vMotion process is complete, the virtual machine will be connected to the port group that is assigned to the distributed switch on the destination vCenter server. Additionally, the virtual disk's location has also changed. You can confirm this by looking at the properties of the VM. We will ping the same Linux VM that was tested earlier. Notice that a higher latency is obtained. This is because the VM is now located in the Austin location, and we are pinging over a WAN. This concludes the demonstration on how to perform a long-distance vMotion. Thank you.